Hi everybody, it's Jenica here again. I just wanted to update you uh, again here just to talk about the market and there's been a lot of changes going on. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys some more information since my last video a couple days ago. So now in the state of California, real estate agents are considered essential where before we were not. Um, we are still working and the California Association of Realtors or the local associations, um, SAR, Sacramento Association of Realtors, and PCAR and EDCAR, which are Placer and El Dorado County uh, Association of Realtors, are working with the state to hopefully all get on the same page so that we will have a little bit more flexibility in doing business during um, this whole coronavirus thing. So anyway, a few other things. Um, a lot of people are wondering when the market's going to shift, kind of what's going on. So I want to give you some more statistical information just so that you can keep up to date with what's going on and we can just be informing you of what's going on. So with that being said, um, the time, this is the best book for real estate agents who haven't read it yet. It is called Shift and it's by Gary Keller, our CEO. And this was written um, back when the other shift happened, which was in 2008. And that's when um, a lot of agents used it for their business then. I think it was 2008. Yeah, it was published in 09. Um, but kind of to be able to sense when a shift is coming, there's market factors. And so I just want to go over what those are. Um, so the main one is that um, we would experience um, less leads. So as an agent, we would see less leads on our listings or less buyer leads, uh, fewer showings, and increased days on market. So those are kind of three indicators. So fewer leads, fewer showings, and increased days on market to then say, okay, a shift is coming. So what I will say just from my personal opinion and seeing what's going on in our market, um, we are still seeing a number of multiple offer properties, even given, you know, over the last two weeks, um, it's kind of crazy. So um, I do, you know, foresee, I would think, given the numbers with unemployment that were reported, um, 3 million people in America filed for unemployment, which is the highest number ever, and 1 million of those were in California in the last 12 days. So that's a big number. Is that going to impact the real estate market? I do believe so. Is it impacting us right now locally? I don't know. I'm still seeing, you know, not a whole lot of houses for sale and a lot of buyers that are still, you know, the demand's still there. So going back to the shift piece, um, there really needs to be fewer leads, fewer showings, increased days on market, which um, I would say that we're not seeing increased days on market just yet. Um, and then a lot of properties are still getting quite a few showings. I will say that we do have some buyer clients that are deciding to hold off for right now. They want to see what's going to happen. And that's totally, you know, there are buyers that are in that position. We have clients we know that have been furloughed. So I think eventually, yes, that will affect our market. Um, but another thing I wanted to mention is that those three signs that I talked about are the early warning signs of what's um, most likely coming next. So the uh, fewer leads, fewer showings, and increased days on market. But the other indicator is more inventory and fewer pendings. So fewer pending sales. So recently, we just got an email from the Association of Realtors that, um, let's see, sorry, I'm going back to my notes, that um, listings have gone down. So with that being said, um, you know, um, listings across the straight state have declined recently. And so with that being said, you know, in order to like look back and see, is there going to be a shift? We need to have more listings and, um, uh, there was another thing I was going to mention and fewer pendings and meaning less demand. So when we start to see that, then you'll know, okay, a shift's coming. I'm um, just looking at the, our whole entire, um, Metro list. So the MLS, um, which is Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado, Yolo counties. So it's all of the counties combined in our entire MLS. I think there's a few other counties in there too. But um, in our entire MLS, kind of over the last few days, I've been in the last week, I've been looking, okay, what in 24 hours, what's been going on? So if I look to about a week ago, and sorry, while I just bear with me while I go through my notes. Um, hold on. Oh, no. So on 321, there were 268 new listings and 128 total pending. On 328, there were 157 new listings, so less listings. Um, 
121 closed, okay? And then today there are 174 new listing, listings in the last 24 hours and 142 pendings. So what that tells me is that the pendings are staying, you know, pretty even over the last week. Um, the listings have gone down. So we've seen them go down, you know, 268, 121, and 174. So they've gone up a little bit um, since, you know, the 28th from the 28th to now. Um, but what we would need to see again is that, and the pendings have stayed, actually gotten, the numbers gone up. So we'd need to see those numbers shift where pendings go down, listings go way up for us to start to see that shift. So that's just what I want to let people know now. Do we think that there might be a shift coming up? Well, with unemployment numbers, I would think so, but we'll keep you up to date as we move forward. So I hope that it makes sense and is helpful to you. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about the um, eviction. So there's been information too about residential evictions, which the governor has put a two month delay on those. So if you are in you know, renting, um, they cannot evict you for the next two months. So that's something to look into. If you need more information, please reach out to us. We're happy to forward you the resources that we have and information um, if you need to present those to your landlord. Um, there was something else too. Uh, let's see. 90-day um, grace period in California for um, mortgage payments. So that's something else to look into. Again, I, we said this in our last video, I believe, but you should call your servicer really to find out, you know, what are the options and make sure you know what that means. Are they going to tack it onto the end of your loan? So find out the answers to that. And then um, I was going to say a couple more things. Um, so the other thing is that real estate is hyper local. So every neighborhood is very specific. Um, every neighborhood is very different as far as what prices are doing and what inventory is doing. So check with us if you're curious about what's going on with your property and we will absolutely help you. Um, we know this is a crazy time, but if you have any questions, we're here to help you. We are still working. Um, so we're here as a resource. Please use us. Um, and we'll stay in touch as things, you know, change or whatnot. There's a few other things. I do want to say on the bright side, I know that rates have been super volatile. Yesterday we were talking to a loan officer and he let us know that rates were around 3.125 and that's the lowest that he's seen. Um, and so, you know, after that was yesterday earlier in the day, I think in the morning, and then they had already changed again and went up by the late end of the day. So there are opportunities right now, um, you know, we will be looking out for them. If you need anything from us, please reach out and we'll just keep you updated. Um, hope that you find the silver linings in all of this craziness. Um, we know that there's people out there that are really struggling. So again, we want to be a resource. Um, we have a client who's making masks. So if you know of someone that is in need of masks, we have that. Um, we know somebody else who's selling masks. I think our other client is just giving them away, but we know who's somebody who's selling them as well. Um, so just please reach out. We're here to help. We want to be a resource and um, look forward to connecting with you guys soon. Have a great day.